Hi guys, it's Allie and Grace. Today is March 6, 2018 and this is our documentation number one. We made two prototype sketches that we will be testing and using to find the fastest and safest car. We want fast momentum and we will have a safety cage on our car as well. This is Ellie's car design. Today I made this design. Um, she has smooth edges and a cage for the egg. She was inspired to do this because she felt that she should look like a f three wheel tractor. <laughs> um, we will. We felt that this will compete well in the speed challenge. The egg cage is also a good thing to have in this design because when it hits the wall, it will go forward and the cage will stop it from hitting the wall. Okay, um, and this is my design that I made today and is made to keep the egg safe and go fast as well, which is why there are it, why there is an air tunnel and a cage for the egg. And that's all we did today. So that's our documentation for Bye. day number one. Hey guys, it's Grace and Ellie, and today is our documentation number two. And we made prototypes today, and we wanted them to have good momentum and keep the egg safe, so we made egg cages. Well, Ellie made a really good one. So this is her prototype, and the egg goes right here. Mm -hmm. And this is a smooth surface, so it's aerodynamic, so it will go faster. And then this here is like so that it it will absorb the egg when it's pushed forward in the crumple zone. And it'll be good for speed because it has very like slick, um, smooth edges. Okay, and so my prototype kind of like failed because it doesn't really look like a car, and um, I kind of just like put paper like together so it does have a good egg cage pretty like um nice and uh soft <laughs> and it fits very perfectly on the inside but um i don't think we're gonna be able to use this because it's not really a car it's kind yeah, of it's like, a, like little, a pouch yeah it's kind of like a little pouch so it's not really it's not gonna really be used used in the challenge with, uh, but Ellie's car is pretty um pretty good yeah we just have to put the wheels on the car and then like make sure that it runs slickly and smoothly yeah and her car shows a good representation of what our idea for a car was mm -hmm. and what our prototype looked like yeah my inspiration was like it kind of looks like a garbage truck I guess <laughs> and it's like a little pouch for the egg and I think the egg will stay pretty safe in this little thing. Yeah, it fits in pretty well, but then it also has room to like go forward a little bit so that it's not completely in there so it doesn't break. Yeah. So that's basically our um, documentation for Today March, March 7th. 7th. Yeah, so this is documentation day number two. So um, we're going to show you a clip of our cleanup when we are cleaning All up. All cleaned up. Yeah. So okay, bye. See you then. Hey guys, it's Grace and Ali, and this is our documentation number three. Today is March 9th, March 9th, 2018, and today I didn't get to do any work because I had to try to find our previous uh, video that we made for the, uh, was it, uh, the correct Speed and acceleration. Yes, speed and acceleration race. So I didn't get to work on the car, but Ellie did get to work on the car. So she's going to tell you a little bit about what she did. Okay, so today I added the wheels onto the car. And first I was going to like poke a hole through it and like put the straw through the hole like we did for our last two cars. But then they were like kind of crooked and it didn't really work right. So then I decided to glue them onto the bottom since this is the last time that we'll be using the straws. So I'm just from McLeod said that that was okay with him. And also, I cut the axles and the straws so that they wouldn't like move back and forth too much so it would go straight and be more speedy. And we did take a video of the this car going down uh, the track with the egg in it. So you guys are going to see that in just a second. And you guys are also going to see our cleaned up space. So that's all we did for today. Thanks Bye. for watching, guys. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a couple more things about the car. So, our test run went pretty well. I think it went pretty okay, smooth. And 
um, our egg stayed safe. It didn't fall out of the car or anything. And we found out that at the end of our run, our egg fell backwards and it caused the car to like tilt upwards like this. So I think that that's a bonus because it makes it very safe. The egg falls back instead of forwards. When it falls forwards, that risks it breaking while it's in the crumple zone because it's going to fall forwards and hit this hard little area that we have right here. So that was just very, that just made my day. And I'm not done. And um, I think it just works very well. And some things we could improve, maybe we can make this thing at the back more secure yeah more secure and like yeah. harder so that in case like maybe the egg is like heavier in real life so then it might just like fall out the back and like flip over so we're gonna make that harder but like it worked really well how it flips backwards yep so um, yeah that's is that it. pretty much it okay so <laughs> now we're gonna show you our cleaned up spot and that's all we did for today this is our cleaned up area our table looking very nice and clean, except there was just a piece of trash on there. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of our documentation day number three. Hey guys, today is March 12th and this is our documentation day number four. And today we had to finish um, uh, recording our documentation for the speed and accelerating uh, challenge. challenge. So that's what we did all day. Yeah, we lost our first one and we couldn't figure out what computer it was on. So we had to restart, but it's done now. Yeah, so that's basically all we did today. So we didn't really uh, do work on the car at all. So that's pretty much it. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's Ellie and Grace. Today is March 13th, documentation day number five. And today we uh, race other cars and our car lost. Really sad. And we have a clip of it, so here it is. Okay, so our car was kind of tied with their car at the beginning, but then theirs started to speed ahead. And then at the end, ours bounced backwards, which is really nice because it kept the egg safe. So okay, so this is our reflection on the video that you just watched. And one thing that we noticed about their car was that the egg wasn't really that safe, and ours was. But um, their car did go faster. So that yeah, I think theirs went faster because it was a lot smaller and more aerodynamic because it was more like this, and ours is like this. Yeah. Okay, and the next video you guys are going to watch is our car racing by itself and the time it got, which I believe was 2 seconds, 2.5 seconds. So, here we go. What time? 2.5. Thank you. Okay, so our reflection on the video you just watched was that our car did go fast on its own, but I guess it's not as fast as everyone else's car, so we do need to work on making it faster. So. Yeah, um, something that we noticed was that our car is a little, it like slants backwards, so the front wheels, one of them doesn't touch the track when it goes down, so we're gonna have to try and fix that. Yeah. So what we did today was we raced the car down the track twice and then there used to be holes right here because we tried to put the wheels here but then we changed them and glued them onto the bottom. So we patched up the holes so that it looks a little bit nicer because it's not the prettiest car. And then we also added some layers of paper onto the back of here because it, um, yeah. If you couldn't tell before when we raced it, it goes back like this when it lands in the crumple zone. So um, with this here, it won't fall out the back. Like this won't bend and it won't fall out. And another thing that we were going to do today was make a new car because our car is not very nice. And Mr. McLeod said that we should, but we realized that we glued the wheels onto the bottom. So I think we should have thought that through when we did that, but. But, yeah, but it's it okay be. because I'm pretty sure the car is fine. And yeah, so that's pretty much what we did today. So thanks, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Ellie and Grace, and today is March 14th. Uh, documentation, documentation number day. six. six. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so today we test run our car against oh other God. people's cars. So first we tested it. 
against Colin. So here's a video of that. Before we did anything, we weighed our car, and it was approximately 31 grams, which is perfect because it's under the weight requirement of 38 grams. Okay, now here's the video of us racing our car against Collins. Okay, go. Okay, guys, so now we're going to reflect on the video you just watched, and we thought that uh, it could have gone faster, and we're going to figure out what they did wrong, but we didn't figure that out yet, so. Yeah, we're going to do an individual test run to try and figure that out. So the things that we liked about that run was that when the car reached the crumple zone, the impact made the front end of it absorb into the wall like this. So that helped the egg like okay, not car. crack while it's inside of the passenger compartment. And um, so now we're going to show you our slow motion with voiceover so that you can see what I'm talking about when I say it absorbs into the wall. So here's that. Okay, so as you can see, the car is hitting the wall and absorbing in, and then it bounces off, which is really nice because it keeps the egg safe. Okay, so now you guys are going to watch our individ individual test run, and we're going to comment on it afterwards. So here we go. Yeah, we're going to try and see what's going on and why it's not going very fast. Ready, set, go. What's the time? 2.38. Okay, so what we realized in the video you just watched was that our car was leaning towards the left side of the track, and it, that wasn't good. So. Yeah, so that was making it go slower because it's like dragging against the side instead of going straight forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the axles a little bit so that the wheels don't move left to right as much, and I think that will make it go straighter. Okay. So we're going to show you the video of after we cut down the wheels. Okay, go. We got 2.2 seconds. 2.2. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so that was our run after we cut down the axles to try to make it go more straight. And we liked how it kind of it kind of fixed it, but we're still trying to work on it a little bit more because it didn't really do that much. To it. Yeah, it just helped a little bit, but yeah, that's all that needs work to try and make it go straighter. Because I think that's the only problem with the speed. I think that that's all we can do, like what we can fix, because it might just be the design of our car that's making it go slow. But we can't really fix that because we have to race tomorrow. Um, so that's it for today. That's all we did. And yeah. So, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so this is our cleaned up table. It's all clean. And now we're going to go. Okay, bye. Hey, guys. It's Ellie and Grace. And today is March 19th, 2018. And we just finished the race on Friday. And we're going to show you a couple of clips of that. And we're going to elaborate on them. But first, we're going to show you the Star Spangled Banner video that we did before the race. So here we go. Okay guys, so before the race, we didn't have too good of expectations, but this is our interview before the race, so you can see what our expectations were. This is Ellie and Grace, and we're interviewing them about their car, so how do you think your car will perform in the upcoming race? Um, I think that the egg will be safe, but I don't know about the speed. Yeah, it's kind of slow because it's a little chunky, but we didn't right. really fix that. That was my next question. How fast do you think the car will go? Um, I think it's gonna go like average speed. I don't think it's gonna beat the other car though. So like two-ish seconds? Yeah, like two yeah, and two a half five, seconds. Yes. All right. And do you think the egg will break? Do you think it's secure or not? I think it will I be think secure. We'll be fine with the egg. Yeah. Well, I'm not really sure because it's like a different egg than what we test with, but it should be okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. And that's the interview. And here's a video of our car actually racing. Go. Hey guys, so that was the video of our car racing. Um, our car did very well compared to our expectation. Yeah, we didn't think it would go as fast, and we thought the egg was going to be safe, which it was, but we did not get a video of that, unfortunately, because my camera wasn't, like, recording. 
but it it was the egg was safe and we thought it wasn't gonna go as fast as it did but it went pretty fast yeah we ended up getting first place yeah our car was the fastest so that was pretty cool um so what we liked about the race was how fast it went yeah and that the egg was still safe while going and the time for uh the race was hold on 2.9 seconds so that was the fastest out of the whole class so that was pretty cool and this is our documentation this is our last documentation so bye guys bye